my life was pretty normal to I hit age to I hit around about I say about 15, 16 in the streets real hard, you know. I think my first bid I think I ended up going to the youth center in Morganton called uh, they called it high rise. That was my first my first bid. I think I did about six months. Got on parole, violated, went back, got out again. I think I end up I went back back to the same prison again. I was an adult, so I ended up going to where the you know the 21 and up was at, you know. So you know, that was the third time. That was and that was another. It wasn't long. Maybe it was maybe a year. You know, got right back out. You know, went right back to the streets. Did the same thing over and over again. This just kept. I just kept doing the same thing. You know, doing the same thing, getting the same results. You know, I think my crimes are started getting more violent. You know, I start. You know. You know, playing with the guns real hard. And um, this one particular case I had, I did it 10 years for that last time. That was my fifth time going to prison. And I did them 10 years. And that's where, that's when the changes started happening. Cause I, I was like 29, 30 when I got loaded up. So, you know, I missed all my 30s, you know. And I, I just started reflecting when I was in. I said, man, I'm about to be, when I get out, I'm gonna be 40 years old. I don't have no type of resume, no type of work history, just no, I mean, just no type of skills, no type of special trip. I didn't have anything. And end up getting my work release. I worked at Purdue Farms. Um, then I ended up um, getting my home passes and stuff like that. So I, I accomplished that. You know, so I was able to come home with some money, you know. Two years before I came home, um, an old friend of mine wrote me. I think my last two years we got close and um Actually, uh, we got married, I think, uh, a couple of weeks after I got out, you know, I'm with her right now. I came home, I was still, you know, just, I was stressed because I didn't have nothing to offer these companies. So I had to accept this money they was giving me. And I just, and I'm used to the fast money, so it was it was, it was was hard, you know, but I knew I wasn't going back to prison. So I was like, oh, man, what I'm gonna do? So my wife went to pick, uh, and got her nursing degree. I think she ended up getting a medical assistant degree or something like that. I think she got a nursing degree and um, she transferred to ECU. And, um, yeah, and that's how, you know, that's how I really, she really, like, she um, graduated. She really, well, she was talking about it when I was locked up. You know, she was telling me, like, when you get on, when you come home, when I, I graduate, you're gonna go to school. And I, um, I graduated classes um, fall 2018. And, um, and I was, I was, I was green. I didn't, I, I was green. I didn't know anything about, I mean, I was just, you gotta think. I got locked up in 2007. I think the first smartphone came out in 2007. So I just, every, you know, everything was just online. Everything, I mean, like, you know, basically Amy, Amy Stevenson and uh, my wife, they had to walk me through everything. Like my first semester, I leaned on my wife and Amy a whole lot. I had never had an email address. I, you know, I, I mean, I had to keep up my email addresses and stuff like that. I'm the third person, you know what I'm saying, my family. Yes, got a degree. I had a lot of plans for that graduation. You know? I had a lot of people that want to come and stuff like that. So I still went through all the motions. I went and got, I ordered my cap and gown. I got my honor course and stuff like that. I, you know, I'm gonna have a graduation party and stuff like that. I'm gonna put my cap and gown on. I'm gonna take pictures and stuff and I'm you know, send it to my family and stuff. So I'm gonna do what I can. To someone like me that's, you know, that, that never had a skill, never had, you know, never had education beyond high school, you know. Pitt is the bomb, you know, I'm telling you, man. Pitt, Pitt rocks for real, man. I mean, it, it definitely has changed my life. So if you're a convicted felon, go to school. Go to school, I'm telling you, school is where it's at. Them people right there, they do not see your criminal background. They, even when they see it, they don't care. They see that, they see that, they see that degree, they get you in there, they see what kind of skills you got. That's, that's the only thing they care about. And I know that since I've been going to school. Just because you get in trouble and you and you and you mess your life up at first, you all I'm telling you, you can redeem yourself. You know what I'm saying? You all school, school will do that for you. You know, a, a degree will do that for you. You can do it. And I'm here to tell you, you can do it.